Hello. Hi. Long pause. <laughs> oh, yeah, long pause. I, I was like, I'm, I'm remembering why I'm here because it's another episode of Everyone's Doing Better Than Me. Uh, it's the podcast where we bring on our successful friends and let them know how their successes are causing us constipation. Yep. I am uh, <laughs> one of your hosts, Catherine Henson, along with my co-host. Eve Allenbogen, Gemini, a New Yorker, and... Um... Viral TikTok star. Oh, well, Catherine, you brought that up. I wasn't going I can't, to, I, to mention well, I can't. it. I didn't want to <laughs> tell anyone. Well, you know, everyone knows. Everyone knows already. So, uh, but before we talk about, I guess, your success as you leave me behind in the dust here, uh, you know, n- unable to use the internet or even my own telephone, I have to ask you. Wait, uh, you forgot yes. to mention. Oh, our fucking <laughs> guest. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> this little fucking I'm, bitch over here. No, I'm bar- well, I am excited. It's just, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, so jealous of you being a star and I, I feel so alone in this world and I've just been processing a lot of childhood trauma recently so I just to, I have to say very excited to have our guest she is an Australian writer actor or actress however you want you that to be and comedian <laughs> Naomi Higgins very excited to have her and get to know Woo! her I'm already jealous of her because she looks better in the lighting in her home than I ever will in mine but before we do that I have to ask you Eve yeah. Superstar, It'll internet f- famous. Oh, I'm um, just a person. I'm just a This gal. week, <laughs> this week, this month, this year, wh- who hurt you? God, you know, it's so hard. I, you know, once you go viral on TikTok, you really don't want to complain. I hate you. <laughs> 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 I just. As somebody with about 90 to 95,000 views on her video from last night, <gasps> you know, wow. I mean, I just, oh I just want to make It's like, it's important to me to stay humble and to remember um that i'm just a person are you checking are you looking it up naomi yes. yeah eve listen, elbow look at that well, eve elbow oh yeah no no, no yeah you know what, let's just let's just stop the podcast and let's just let's just air your tiktok videos uh the audio of them so everyone else can you know bask in the glory of what's been months in the making um well you know so the the clip i put up was like 15 seconds last night is like one is one line or one what joke that i was used to do that i'm like i can't do this joke anymore i'm so sick of it and it's about being Jewish and like being a New York Jew and how um, I am, what is it, Jewish for business purposes only. I, so I don't do religious things. I eat bacon and I love foreskin, right? And like, it is, it is so <laughs> insane, the conversations that are going on. I mean, so much anti-Semitism. Like, so, like, a re- <laughs> someone was like, dude, nah. your nose. <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> and that was the internet. Oh my God, the kids are awful. <laughs> <laughs> and then the- like, just so like conversations that, like it was like free Palestine. And I'm like, this has, the two are not related. Like me being <laughs> Jewish is not like, I'm not the oppressor here. I mean, unless like, I mean, there is a chance, there is a slight chance that I am part of like a blind trust of people that will receive the land that Palestinians own. But I don't want to talk about that. You know, I mean, I might be part of <laughs> the oppressors or the, the colonists, but you know, the, that's not my fault. That's a, that's a greater conversation. That's for Facebook, not TikTok, <laughs> right? Like that's, you gotta keep the serious stuff in the serious places. Somebody said to me, so this is who hurt me, this person. I mean, did they hurt me? I feel like I got the last lap. This person who said, um, um, I just have to ask you, like, do you, in your dreams, are you stealing homes from Palestinian people? <laughs> like, so I made her. Jesus Christ. I know, I know. <laughs> So I made a response video and I said, um, honestly, yes, but it's not because of religion. It's just because I'm really broken. I need a place to live. Um, and, you know, you wouldn't believe it. Fair answer. Some people don't find that funny because they're like, mm. you're, making, you're making light of ethnic cleansing. I'm like, but you don't seem to care about the Jew stuff. Anyway, you know, it's just once oh, you, oh, once no. you go viral, you know, just your perspective yeah. changes. You know what once I mean? You're at the are top. they white? Because there are also some stuff that some white people are doing that you could be like... <laughs> Are you solely responsible for this? Totally. Well, it's funny. It's like, imagine holding all Christians accountable for everything Christians have done. You know what I mean? Like, just... And that's why I, I, I am happy to be held accountable for anything any white person has ever done that's bad. Yeah. So I you're so. welcome. You're, you're, yeah. yeah. The, well, technically, the you, martyr. I'm that, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In a way. But you know, I think Naomi, that kind of means that you were one of the people who commented it that way on my TikTok. You know, because if you're responsible for all of these yeah. people, you know, so um, I, I would like an apology. Yeah. 
you know, I was, I was like an apology. I'm really sorry um, that they um, made out like you are in you the did. IDF. You did that. I'm really you sorry um, <laughs> about the nose comment. <laughs> That's bad. Well, thank you. I am sorry to you for... Mm. That's all right. Keep going. What? I am sorry <laughs> that I am watching this circle jerk right now. Uh, I did not yeah, sign up for this. I'm really sorry <laughs> to you for killing Jesus. I did not mm. mean it. I wasn't there, but I I take responsibility for the actions of my people. Thank Um, you. Reading about that actually kind of pissed me off, so I'm glad you said said sorry. (laughs) You're like... (laughs) I I was like, what? No one told me how that book would end. (laughs) Eve is, like, related to these people, and we were (laughs) friends for years. I know. I know. I'm I'm calling Mel Gibson. (laughs) Um. (laughs) So, yes, I'm doing okay. You know, fame is, is... it's, it agrees with me, but you just got to pace yourself, you know? Mm. So now that we've talked about, um, by the way, like I put up a second video, no one has watched it. And I just mm. want you to know that, um, I am a monster, but I also am aware of the fact that, um, I will never be free of my insecurity. So if anybody thinks that I might feel good oh. about myself, I just want everyone to know I don't, <laughs> I, I, I don't, and I, don't I never eat. will. <laughs> I have comfort. Yeah. yeah. I did think you were going to, you know, say you would always be humble or but yet it just was you know you you making sure we knew of your own self-awareness i thought you were going to bring it back to the little people i'm sitting over here i've struggled this week I've well struggled. i was about to ask you i was gonna, i was gonna bring it back to you yeah, my little yeah. friend are you ready um well my I, little i will friend. but may i also just <laughs> may i also just say that Catherine has jumped in as soon as I told her about the TikTok thing. She went to bat for me against these people. Uh-oh. So, someone said, oh, "Like no. you're not." What? Someone said, "I." They're like, "You're not Jewish." And Catherine, what did you say? You were like, "I don't even remember." It was. This funny. is my bread and butter. This I grew up on Live Journal. Uh, I grew up on the internet when the internet was the wild, wild west. So like, this is where I thrive. Like in an anonymous sort of background of like replying like for my friends. I don't know how to use Twitter. I don't know how to use TikTok. But whenever I hear about one uh, one being Eve now and the other one being a comedian named Erica Ehler, if I ever hear that anybody's being mean to them, I get on there with my zero followers and I just. Start typing away, and then I thrive. It's like my lifeblood. Um, and you look so, fantastic. You look so good. You look like you. you're glowing from it. Okay, so Catherine, I will ask you, mm. now that you've really been there for me, mm. who, hurt, <laughs> who hurt you? Who hurt me? Or, well, you know, or has I, anyone hurt you ever? We, oh, every every time, <laughs> every every hour of every day, somebody is is living to cause me pain. This week, it was um, there's an app called Next Door. I don't know if anybody yes. uses it on here. Yes, well, I've I don't acquired... use it. It's not really big in Australia, but I do follow that Twitter account. Oh, oh well, you know, I'm sure that's evil um, in <laughs> in the making. No, 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 the best of Next Door. And they just post <sighs> screenshots of. You might see me on there because I <laughs> I decided to buy these cups and they were advertised as beautiful cups and they were different colors and they had these jewels and, and she wanted 15 pounds for them. And I thought they were cups, like, you know, the size of a cup. I'm, I'm, I'm holding up a cup for the camera, a, a life-size, human adult-sized cup for drinking. Yeah, yeah. And so I sent my husband to go pick them up because I was in the middle of, I, I got this picture. I didn't know how to hang it on the wall. I'm trading my, my friend Tom you know, who's helped us with this podcast was hanging it up for me. Cause he's an art dealer in exchange for me selling his clothes to the 12 year olds down the street who are like, no, this is ugly. You know what I mean? What's going on? Consignment. <laughs> stuff. What do you mean? What is my life? This is all very on brand. This is all very on She's brand. Part of the community. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Notting yeah. Hill. Buying the community. Jeweled cups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So I want my jeweled cups. So, so Mark goes and picks them up and then he, he comes inside and he's like, you know, they're, they're tiny cups. And I was like, what do you mean they're tiny cups? So he, he produces this is a tiny ass <laughs> cup. <laughs> this, this is like fucking not a, ch- and, and like, like they're all fucked up. No, it's a little bigger. Yeah. It looks yeah. like maybe like for port or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. And like, so I've been swindled. Right. And then of course, Tom, who is an art dealer, looks at him and he's like, you've been had, these are worth a pound for the set. How much did you pay? 12 pounds. Okay. So, so 12 pounds. So I say to this lady in like this, just like, you know, plea of humanity. I'm like, I am so sorry. Like, you know, these cups are nice, but like, I can't use them. They're not the size they look like, you know, would it be all right? 
You, you can know, use them. I love... You just have to use them more often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, yeah. I mean, I need to like insert one inside of me while I drink water out of three others at a time just to feel like I got my money's worth. And like, and I asked her if she would like, you know, I was like, look, I would love if somebody who loved these could have them because I can't use them or whatever. And she's like, no returns. And I'm like, what? I was sort of like, okay, well, and you know, then I sort of started getting upset. And then, you know, you? of course, I, I don't believe that you would get upset. I've never seen you upset right. before. Well, <laughs> and now and I'm like going through all of this like emotional trauma because I started meditation and whatever. And like, anyway, <laughs> long story long, I was like, I'm going to, you know, donate these to charity. And I feel bad you're in this like situation where you feel the need to like sell these cu- and like not return them. But then I tried to take photos of them to sell them. One of the jewels falls off today immediately, <gasps> immediately. Nice. So then I messaged her today and I'm like, you know what? Like this happened. And then she was like, you pulled that off on purpose and I was like what and so now I'm arguing with some bitch I've never met over these baby cops these these these, you know little person cops and that I don't fucking want that I can't that make me angry to look at like I'm thinking about doing one of those like what those rooms where you smash things just like in my own house and I just smash these cups but she accused me and I was like I would never and I was like but I'm really sorry to hear you're in a financial position where you're she's selling a 35 pound toaster that doesn't work she's trying to get 35 pounds for a toaster that does not work and I'm like clearly you need money so I hope your situation improves but where you're not selling people garbage <laughs> for too much money than it's worth so that's, um, that's really like nice way to look at it but I it's always the people who definitely have enough money who are that fucking stingy. Know, no one who's poor would be selling that shit. I'm, I'm yeah, sh- there, yeah. She, she's. It's the Jews. Like, come on, <laughs> we can just say it's the Jews. Hey, it's, let's come on. Let's. <laughs> she's Jewish. She gets no one, to say is that. she Jewish? <laughs> Eve? <laughs> Eve? Was, is she Jewish? To... <laughs> I didn't know. I, didn't. I was just trying to see. I was trying to test you guys because you were allies before, but you never know. People, you know, in the right moment, they're like, I support you. And then they go, you know, she probably is. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I'm just saying, you know, that's a Jewish area of London. I mean, um, <laughs> I guess I'll just say this. The Holocaust was bad, but whoever bought a cup where the jewel fell off within 24 hours, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, who really <laughs> suffered here, okay? I think it's white women again. <laughs> it's white women again. I like that. <laughs> it's a good catchphrase. I figure, speaking of white women, I, well, I'm assuming you're white, and that's what white women do. We assume that everyone <laughs> is you. us. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. Me, Na- 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 Higgins. Me yeah. and this alabaster skin. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, I'm but, white as white can be, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Naomi, ha- has anyone... Who hurt you? Who who hurt you? Who hurt me? Um, ever. Have you ever been hurt? Uh, okay, the last time I was angry. I'm not going to say who it was, because technically they committed a crime. I'm in Melbourne right now. We, were in, we went into lockdown again. Mm. Um, and, <laughs> and I was talking to someone. And they were like, I did break lockdown once. Um, and it was, and and Melbourne people are very weird. We've been in and out of these really harsh lockdowns. So we get I really was there like. For them. And you she were there? was there for the, for the <laughs> long one. <laughs> it almost killed her. <laughs> what? Yeah, don't. Yeah, no, 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 no. it doesn't. It doesn't matter. My, I'm still processing the <laughs> she, suffering. She came um, to Australia okay. to do the to, yeah. do the festival with me, and ended up getting stuck and stayed through the lockdown and couldn't get out. Yeah. Really. Yeah, mm-hmm, look at you! Mm-hmm, look at you yeah, smiling sorry. now that you're on the other side of the suicidal thoughts. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so you so you kind of get it. Um, yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I will say the second lockdown was worse than the first. No, that's one. the no, one she was there for. No, no, I was um, there. I was there for the there first for the and the one. second. I was there through September. <laughs> okay, so you. I'm so sorry. And then I flew to the UK that's... to go into their lockdown, <laughs> which just oh. opened up on May. Yeah, I just figured, you know, in case you go, the cups weren't enough. I just figured <laughs> I'd. <laughs> The cups were worse. I'm waiting for Catherine to pull back her sleeve and she's got a tattoo on her forearm. <laughs> My numbers. It's the days in lockdown and the years. And she, and she's like, I was there. I was um, there. And how many times I called Eve. The numbers oh man, like two, I'd be so mad at Eve if I were you. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so you. Yeah. So you, so you understand. Anyway, mm-hmm. so someone told me that they're like, I did break lockdown once, but it was really important. 
I want you guys to guess what it was that this person broke lockdown for that they said was really Sex? important. And it took... A tender date. No. And it took like five minutes. They went into someone's house. Something Drug deal? For five minutes. And Drug then they deal. Left. Now Drug deal. No. No. More above. Less less illegal. Um, <clears throat> video that. games. Buying cups? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Video games. Um, no, so nothing sexual. Nothing. Oh. Okay. No. Nothing, nothing drugs because drugs are sort of important to me so i'm kind of like uh, you no, know that i would understand more yeah picking up a pie <laughs> petting a dog you're getting so you specific, getting so a specific. tissue getting a you're tissue <laughs> okay and it's an, ev- an, an event going to the bathroom an, an event. event that takes less than five a man coming it's not sexual <laughs> it's god not get your head out of the gutter oh, um okay, okay. <laughs> okay. um um a family event um a bris a bris a funeral <laughs> you're getting closer what? you're getting closer with funeral or bris bris <laughs> what a, br- um, a baby sh- to see the baby not no uh, a naming to pet the but baby close. oh 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 oh, oh, oh um, one of those 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 things where they they're like it's a boy like no. one of those yes. parties <gasps> a gender oh reveal oh my god a gender it's reveal it's offensive party. to go I was like you could have done that on fucking Video. And it's also it's like the gender reveal party itself Why? is an offensive idea. It's like and I don't even yes, right? yeah. I don't even mean because of I was like yeah. out of all yes. the things out of all the things a gender reveal <laughs> I would have so preferred that they were going to buy drugs and that's like yes. in Australia because the lockdown is so intense it's like that potentially could keep you in Australia in in lockdown for longer oh exactly because we wait until we have zero exactly. cases like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, re- I remember. I remember. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> That's like here. Double donuts. Of, Double there was donuts. That, there's like multiple gender real parties, out, especially out west where it's dry and people have more guns. And they've shot at like a balloon <laughs> with like a powder in it. And the powder caught fire and it burned thousands of acres. Of, yeah. Like, it's like, the yeah. bushfire. Like, I remember. What is wrong? Wow. And I was like, another fucking disaster waiting to happen and another fucking gender reveal, and by the way course. for the record wow you made me so you know mad. it has to be a boy for that much destruction to happen you know that it was a boy no little girl i don't know that's I'm, so I'm funny gonna, i didn't I'm even gonna... ask because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you don't care you're like no. i don't give a yeah. shit who cares <laughs> you're Shit. like it's it's going to happen that's all we know about it it's going to be born well wow. i saw a gender reveal party by the river here recently i went for a walk um by the east river and like this it was like a whole thing it was like is it a boy or a girl and the thing that was crazy was like the girl was like it the most i mean it was just the most like frilly doll like they had like a frilly dog i swear to god she was pushing mm-hmm. a shopping cart the little like toy girl mm-hmm. or whatever the balloon girl and then the boy <laughs> was it like a yeah, mm-hmm. and the boy was like in a tank i'm like wow you have some very specific ideas about gender it's like the boy will become a murderer the woman will, the woman will do all the shopping you know like she'll hey like, he's not a murderer he's protecting uh, sorry, freedoms a patri- okay he'll become a patriot <laughs> <laughs> all right well naomi this is the point in the show when we turn on you um, because it's all been fun and, you know, love and, oh, it's so good to see you until now. But, um, the real reason you're here is because I really resent your success. <laughs> and that's because, <laughs> because there's so much of it, you know, there's just so, there really I already is do so too. much of your success and I just have to look <laughs> at it and be happy for you, <laughs> you know, cause I know you <laughs> and you're really genuine and down to earth. You fucking bitch. <laughs> I think cunt I was going to say more cunt, appropriate but the, there, but yeah, I was like, you know, I haven't spoken to her in like a year. You, you fucking but cunt, you know. Sorry, those two. That was really <laughs> that came from a deep place. Um, yeah. yeah, it sounds weird coming out of an American accent, to be honest. Don't be racist. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, we are appropriating the Australian culture by using it. I think After so. The discrimination I faced today, Naomi. I would think that you would have a bit more awareness. You know. <laughs> By the way, for the record, my nose isn't even that big. Like that's just what's. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even look that Jewish. Don't do that. You don't have to do that either. I'm like, but my bank doesn't even have that much money left. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Catherine, we've talked. To, so I'm going to talk to Catherine about you, and then it, you know you'll get your chance to set the record straight before we, before <laughs> right, it goes right, to the right. jury. Um. <laughs> 
<laughs> for four sentences. Like, basically, Catherine, I've I've been talking about Naomi to you for a while, right? Um, yes, yes. I've tried to not listen because it upsets yeah, exactly. me. Yeah, exactly. Because there's, it's like I'm like I'm like I hear it. I hear like TV yeah. show and success, and I'm like, get it away it's from like, me. It's <laughs> pathetic, really. It's like so it's here's upsetting. the thing. Right? I've known Naomi. I, I met Naomi when I first got to Australia, like 2015 ish. And the most obnoxious thing about her is that she was so nice. Just like so, so <laughs> friendly, so <Yeah>. approachable. <laughs> and she was funny. She was funny and she was cool. I was like, mm, the worst. yeah, what's going on with you? I'm not sure I believe this. And then get it away from me. Seriously. So she did. She did stand up um, and just like crushed. Right. Like, I think were we in the same finals, Naomi? We were in the same finals for Raw. Oh, now she's going to have was... your memory for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I. I think it was the year before that I was in it, before you. You were in, I was in, in 2016. That was my first, it was the same, I think it was the same year. Oh, yeah, yeah yes, I did 2016. And you made it through to the final. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was like, sorry, I remember you from the next year. This year entered again. Right, oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, ooh, that really hurt. So, Sick so, burn. Ooh, yikes. So, <laughs> <laughs> I remember emotionally supporting you through it because you got to the state final and I was really right, happy for you. You, you okay. got to the nationals, but no big deal. So basically, we were in, this, this like Raw is a big comedy competition in Australia. My first year there, I was like, so salty for the first like six months because nobody would like most people just were like she's probably not i, I just well to be fair i wasn't that funny right i mean i hate to admit this i wasn't that funny mm. but i eventually I, a moment of honesty all right okay you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a jew jews have suffered enough so, <laughs> so today I'm really i'm really going hard on the jew card today so um <laughs> today um <laughs> so, so i get so i work really hard i get to the the state final and that's when I started becoming closer to Naomi, who was fucking killer, right? Like, so, and I have to say, and I know this probably annoys you, Naomi. Naomi is super petite, and like, it's like it, it, people would say really patronizing things like pocket rocket Naomi Higgins, and it's like pocket. Mm. Oh yeah, she's so cute. You can put her in your pocket. It's okay for women to say harsh things when they're so tiny. You can just step on them. But, <laughs> but it was like I'm like a chihuahua. <laughs> but there's something about you that it's like people want to be patronizing toward you. Um, people want to be like she's such a little this and that and you just are like so like such a fucking force like just on stage um you know on a national stage on the state final stage but like anyway whatever i'm getting to i'm i'm I've never been on a stage that had the word national or final <laughs> on it so fuck you I'm Fuck! I don't even know what that looks like. You're describing something I don't understand. I'm like, Ugh, you Catherine know. And I said we stand on <laughs> barrels that call themselves. Oh, comedy club! We're like in the back of yeah. some alley or something. But so yeah. it's only it's only a comedy club if I hear a drip in the background <laughs> yeah. when no one's laughing. <laughs> so she was like amazing. She got to the level past me. No, I was not bitter at all. Um, and uh, <laughs> and did you? You weren't runner up, right? No, no. Okay, thank God. They usually God. they do. Yeah. <laughs> they do a winner, a runner-up, and then sometimes a special mention. But our year, no special mention for some reason. They were like, "We're good." <laughs> but it's not so like it's equal third. Yeah, equal third. But like amazing. But then, like as we got to know each other, um, I was like, "Wow, you're also really cool." On top of this, and like I'm always suspicious of like people's boyfriends. I'm like, is your boy, <laughs> is your boyfriend a dick? Like, is he a piece of like? Oh, you're this like hardworking. What were you working as? Not an engineer. What were you working as? Yeah, well, yeah, technically not an engineer, but I have an engineering degree. I was working at a tech startup. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You just have the degree and you choose not to use it. Okay. <laughs> it's just there in case. <laughs> yeah, tech I could be an engineer. I just choose to do other things because I have... I'm a, I choose to be an artist. I have so many talents. I can work at the startup. I could be an engineer. I'm a writer. I'm a comedian. I'm an actor. You know, life is full of opportunities. Um so whatever I want but I was like I just was kind of like is your boyfriend cool you know because it's like you always meet these women who are really cool and then they date these like fucking schlubs you know that's almost every boyfriend in the world <laughs> yeah totally mm. and I'm sorry to say that Mark um your partner is fucking rad like I just like mm. I became friends with both you know, of you and I was like wow. oh look at this fantastic couple you know this <laughs> So, 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 you know, my husband is named Mark. So I'm just going to say, so now you have the more successful Mark as well. So yeah. I, yeah. He is, yeah, I, I don't know what your husband does. Oh, yeah, she, 
Oh, I don't know what your husband does. But I'm my here. Boyfriend <laughs> so. is, yeah, he's pretty successful. He's pretty famous. <laughs> yeah, the, the two of you both have shows on Netflix. I mean, just like, I'm sorry, but like, go fuck yourself. Wow. You know? It's like, <laughs> yeah. We don't fuck each other because if you guys are having sex in your relationship, I, think I hate they you. Are. I hate I you. I think it's really good. No, shut up. It's really, shut up. very, like, playful people. I've, and you've told me stories, like, of funny things that have happened. And I'm like, those people sound like they have good sex. What the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> it's upsetting. You know? So it's like, okay. you. And then the other thing, too, is that, like, you were an engineer working at an IT startup. Right, like mm-hmm. ma- right, I just start making like good money, being really good at your job, and you were like, "Oh, I want to get more into something else, maybe not stand up, but like something comedy related." And then, did you quit and just like hope it work out? Would work out? No. Did you start cl- <laughs> cleaning businesses like I did, where you had to vacuum cockroaches every day because you're like, "I don't deserve a good job while I'm following my dream. <laughs> I deserve to feel like shit every day." Uh-huh. No. You just kept working and doing a great job at your actual job while also working on your creative stuff. And then you did such a good job that your pilot for a TV show got picked up and then got made. And then <laughs> Are you a Capricorn? Are you a Capricorn? No. I'm an Aquarius. But my Are you a Leo? My boyfriend oh, she's an is Aquarius. a Capricorn. <gasps> we did make the show. Yes, together. he fucking is. I just, to, <laughs> wow. I just want to point out that Catherine always is like they're capricorn she's every time she's like oh i know and she's been wrong like every time either my moon or my rising is a capricorn or something see fucking i fucking see 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 you don't is capricorn mm. well Look uh, at that. that's that's your yeah. like that's like who you really are <laughs> but <laughs> it's who you really are but i Look, you're right <laughs> and so and so then you like get this tv show made or you get the pilot made then you go and you talk to netflix and then even during the pandemic somehow they still follow through and they pick up <laughs> wow. your show which is now on netflix mm. um have i missed anything have, do you own a, a company are you like an investor in something do you have any bitcoin uh <laughs> i i don't have bitcoin i did just invest in the stock market though how much wow. for me? I have eight hundred dollars in the stock market right now, so I don't want to. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable, but I'm doing okay. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna have to sell it to pay my rent next month. Just saying. Um, <laughs> well, I'm sure it's on the app. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and then I'm trying to. There's one more thing I was just gonna say though. When when you said, um, anyway, I think that's. Uh, I think that's. It. I think. Thanks for being on. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leave, leave now. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Having me. Yeah, nice. you just what? What? It's like um, <laughs> you're just a very hardworking, motivated, but then also successful, amicable, grounded person. And um, that's uh, that's hard for people like myself who go have one video that catches on on TikTok and suddenly we're like shows up. 25 minutes late to the I podcast. Five, no, I'm I was kidding. Five, se- maybe no, seven minutes. Nine, nine, <laughs> nine. But I'm not mad about it. But no, because it's funny because she she like swirled in and you couldn't even see her face. It was like her computer was pointed at her tits. And she was like, oh, hello, are you there? <laughs> I'm here now. <laughs> you know, but. Um, oh, so are you looking at my huge tits? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. My sense. Sorry, I'm late. Mm. <laughs> this is where I keep my Jewish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Big nose, big tits. Yep. So. So, well, you know, I think I, I, I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure everything Eve said is just mm. true. Is it true, Naomi? Is it true? Is this is this real? Yeah. I mean, that's, um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't know. Am I that nice? I guess I'm, I don't know. You're really nice. I mean, my internal monologue is that I'm a huge bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but you're one of those people who's like I'm a bitch but like you're not a bitch you just will say something if someone's shitty like if someone's shitty you'll just be like so you're, you're yeah, honest she's honest oh and yeah she'll, like, painfully honest this is the thing that drives me crazy about you <laughs> like the like, is that you're like you're like you have like a woke you're not not in like a bullshit way you see the tr- like the movement of like the progression of things like you have empathy and you're like oh this is a-. but you're not sanctimonious like you're not like <laughs> cancel <laughs> them you're just like yeah well that's actually probably really hurtful and we probably shouldn't use those words but you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna yell at you and i'm like what no like yell at me and then i can be like <laughs> you're such mm-hmm. a cunt but you won't do it <laughs> i guess that's for you to process yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> how do you feel hearing 
Eve, you know, who I mind you, I don't know if you remember this. She went viral today. <laughs> so she didn't even have to speak to you today in the way that she did. True, but I'm, she did come I'm down really from her internet cloud. <laughs> yeah. To how does it how do you feel like what was all of this success that you have gained which like it sounds, you know, pretty I don't even know the word for it. There's a lot there. <laughs> There's a lot. Um you're more successful than a lot of people I know. And yeah, did you want to say one more thing? I just remember that you got picked up by a Can I say that? That you're now represented I don't know. I mean, we won't, we won't well, name it. You're now represented by a very impressive agency. Yeah. In the is US. Is that fair to say? In the US. Yeah, yeah exactly. I got Which US is management. huge. That's. Yeah. Yeah. You got US management. But like from the biggest, from like one of the biggest <laughs> ones. Yeah. Great. Right. There's only like, you know, a handful of those, but whatever. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, so, you know, I feel like, was this, was this success? Like, was this easy for you? Did you just snap your fingers and it happened like white ladies do? Or did you have to, (laughs) did you have to work? I mean, like what happened? Like, how did, how do you feel hearing it? And like, what along the way, you know, might've made you feel like, "Ah, I'll just give up. I'll, you know, Um, be like Catherine. (laughs) (laughs) I guess I'll be like Catherine. (laughs) (laughs) um yeah I I mean I think it was simultaneously easy and hard I I think I think I've had a lot a much easier time than a lot of people I think I'm very lucky Mm. (laughs) Um, because I just kept entering someone was like write down your story and I realized that I just entered a series of competitions and that's how I just got everything I because the raw was a competition the comedy competition and then the tv show was through another competition that I'm just like I respond well to like a set of (laughs) To a challenge. Um, instructions, yeah. <laughs> to an invitation. But a lot of people entered both of those things and did not get through. Yeah. Well, I guess, I don't I don't know. I guess pe- people just liked what we were saying. So I think I think the getting through thing I found quite easy, which is not what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to be like, success is like an iceberg. Um, <laughs> and everyone just sees the easy part. But I think the getting through the things was actually easy. But the process of making a TV show was so hard. Was, I've never been more stressed in my entire life. It was so just emotionally draining. It- I was couldn't sleep every night I would be like oh my god this is gonna be a fuck up and everyone's gonna be like wow that seven seconds of the tv show is not super funny so we (laughs) hate Naomi and we hope she dies Um, but part of that was just that I was mentally ill and I and I didn't know to what extent um so on top of that I'm actually really mentally healthy now so you can add that to the list I guess and is that the stress the stress of doing the work made you mentally ill well, I didn't know at the time that I had ADHD oh, while we were making So many show. people I know are finding out later in life that, not that you're like, what are you, in your 20s? I'm like, in their old age. <laughs> yeah. But you're like tw- 20, what, 24, 25? 20, 28? No, I'm 28. Oh, so sorry. Oh, I was like, if she fucking says 23, I'm <laughs> logging off. I'm logging, logging off. off. Catherine thinks we're on, she thinks we're on AOL. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so you're 28 okay so yeah but I know other people who've been diagnosed later um, in their lives with ADHD so was it what was going on yeah. for, for you that that was driving was that dri- making you depressed is that what it was well when we would I hated I've always hated doing any like mentally hard work I actually found like mm. in school like maths and science and stuff really really easy like it wasn't it like because it just like it made sense in my head mm-hmm. I, that, that's just like luck that it made sense in my head um but like with creative work there's no there's no like you know if you're solving a fucking mathematical formula there's rules you just follow the rules there's an answer um so -hmm. it's not very mentally stimulating if you know the rules but with creative work like writing there is no shortcut like you just have to think and it was just so Mm. fucking mentally exhausting and so every day at around like 2 3 p.m i'd get so irritated and i would completely shut down and i was just like so grumpy and it was really hard to get me to contribute every fucking day and i'm sure mark and harm the other two co-creators were just like banging their head against the wall every fucking day (laughs) and every time they're like okay time to work i'd be like (laughs) oh and then i went through this whole crisis of like do i like writing maybe i'm not supposed to do anything i don't like doing work but it turned out that um i'm my brain wasn't getting enough dopamine (laughs) oh interesting wow well i'm curious like so what made you i guess like seek out that as a possibility right because some people like when you said that just then i was like have a snack (laughs) you know what i mean i'm hungry like i'm hungry i need a nap and like because i do find i sometimes like and I'm not saying I am or I'm not or whatever, but, you know, I'm hearing that and I'm like, sometimes I'm kind of like, no, you know, mm. like, 
like with our own podcast, like trying to do some things that I don't want to do that I know we need to do that I'm now trying to outsource. Like video <laughs> right? clip editing. Like that kind of Yeah, I video clip editing. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it takes me so long and i hate doing it and then i'm like well is it that i just and, and i have all these other things going on you know that i'm working with so i'm like oh but then i'm like well maybe it's that maybe i have a thing but <laughs> yeah what made you seek out that as like a possibility because sometimes people don't yeah you know? well i had no idea like i did well in school right so it never would have occurred to me that i would have it and i think if i kept working I don't know I got pretty bored at my day job that is when I started doing comedy because I was like I can't do this forever I'm gonna die um but it is the first time an awareness month has ever affected me in any real way because I have a friend with ADHD and she doesn't shut up about it and then especially during ADHD <laughs> they, awareness they month. never fucking do <laughs> they never do no she's like posting every day and I'm like rolling my eyes going that's not ADHD that's just everyone <laughs> And then after a while, I was like, hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, wow, I do all these things. So I so I was like, okay, I'll go get diagnosed. I was like, look, I think I have attention. I think I have just the attention deficit part. I don't think I have the hyperactivity part. And so then I went mm. and talked to a psychiatrist and he was like, oh, you have both. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I thought I was normal. <laughs> um, and so how does that, like, what are the other symptoms that, like, really – kind of sealed it for you like what are the things that you were like oh I do have this like the thing you said about 3 p.m every day but then what else I start projects and don't finish them um just every fucking project mm. I've got a sewing machine I've got a soldering iron <laughs> I've got fucking okay okay wait this sounds like me I'm scared <laughs> are you my doctor now okay go on one thing that like all these things that I look back on so in in um uni when I would have to cram before an exam I would, um, I used to do energy drinks. Do. <laughs> I used to do caffeine. Um, I used all the time. To, yeah. You shot them up Snort with them a needle. But nose. also, I was like super anxious um, and really had no idea until my psychiatrist was like, I'm putting you on um, like anti anxiety medication before you start stimulants or you'll go crazy. I was like, I don't need that. I'm not mm. that anxious. And then I tried it and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I was so mentally ill. Anyway, so. I couldn't have energy drinks anymore because A, they'd make me anxious and B, I would stay awake for like 24 hours if I had one energy drink. Yeah. So then what I started doing was I would buy a packet of sour Skittles um, and while I was studying, every two minutes I would have one sour Skittle. <laughs> and it's so obvious now that I was like, trying to like you know stimulate my brain right. so i could focus on the work so self-medicating mm. with skittles candy skittles. but that is that does force dopamine to be released like that's what sugar is like sugar stimulates dopamine doesn't it yeah i guess and it was like sour skittles as well right. so it was like that's you know so... i was like oh i can now draw a graph um and then just like stuff <laughs> like i look back at like i could never clean my room you know my my parents would my family would make jokes about how, you know, I'd be cleaning my room, then 10 hours they'd come back and it would still be a mess and I'd be sitting on the floor playing with an Etch-A-Sketch I found. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, right. <laughs> oh, fuck. I I, I'm, like, wondering, <laughs> like, I, I'm... Yeah. I, yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, I thought this was just like creative whimsy, well, you know? I'm like, here <laughs> surrounded by everything I own. It's not. And I'm like, no, it's just because I moved two weeks ago and haven't yet been yeah. able to do any of it. But I pull one thing off and I'm like, oh, I should look through this and... I'm gonna get some. Well, I'm like, gonna get some beef jerky. <laughs> Catherine just had to watch me eat beef jerky. But um, um yeah. yeah, no, I yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you yeah, might have yeah. ADHD. It's worth looking into because mm. I really had no fucking idea. Even like an episode of our TV show, one of the plot lines is my character trying to Marie Kondo the house, yes. getting to the point where you put all the junk on the floor and then just getting distracted. Um, which is something that's happened several <laughs> times. And so Mark wanted to write yeah. it into the show because he's sick of like, he'd just be like, <laughs> not fucking again with this and there's piles everywhere and then I wouldn't put them away. And um, and then it, it, it would be good because if we get a season two, I can write in, you know, Penny getting ADHD and people will think we planted the seeds, but that's the, that's the bonus of writing about your own life because everything's planting seeds. Cause... Yeah. It's funny because also I think about the, the joke that you had about... Um... OCD? No, it was the joke you had about the plot line of that TV show. What was the show? Oh, the OC. And what was the guy's name? Trey. Trey. And it was this joke about... <gasps> I went to college with him. Anyway. <gasps> oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. Never mind. No, no, no. That was... Sorry. Laguna Beach. Sorry. <laughs> oh, forget Catherine, it. Forget it. Forget that's it. so rude. I'm sorry. My ADHD right. just took over the conversation. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's like... Um, you, your joke was like your sister names uh, one of her kids Trey. Is that right? 
My sister's friend. Your sister's friend. And and then she's explaining to you why. And then she goes into this whole thing about like this guy. Da, 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 and, then, and then this and then this and this. And it goes to the whole plot. And it's like amazing. Like it was like so endlessly long and meandering <laughs> and funny. But it's kind of like ADHD in a joke. Because it's like, and this, do you mind if I say, like, the, you don't, like, I mean, you're not performing it anymore, right? So you don't care if I say it. No. Because then it's like at the end, you're like, I forget what it is, but you're like, da, 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 da. anyway, yeah, Trey. Like, and you just like pull it right back to like the baby. And it's like, what? Like, we just went on this like fucking journey. But it's kind of like the joke is that part of your personality, I think, right? Would you, do you see it that way? I mean, now that I've said it, like, I know that you weren't writing it. Yeah, that I way. guess I'm fucking crazy. Is that what you're trying to yeah. say? I guess I'm really <laughs> fucking weird. Um- <laughs> you're so quirky. You're so uh-huh. zany. You're so zany. Well, I've always been a fast talker. I think that's another part of it. Is you, um, you're just you impatient. Hold- you you finish you other people's so many- sentences. Mm-hmm. If you think you yeah. know what someone's saying, they're taking too long. You'll be like, yeah, yeah, you're saying this, and then you'll just start, and then you'll I continue the conversation because I'm like, I, I think can't- I just did that to you. Yeah. <laughs> You I literally just, just did. Look, everyone has ADHD. That's my... When someone doesn't... <laughs> when someone's like, I don't have anxiety, that's like crazy to me. Because I'm like, how can you not yeah. be stressed all the time? But to be fair, now I'm medicated and I'm like, oh, I'm I'm never getting off this. My psychiatrist is like, we'll see how you go for six months. And then, you know, maybe you want to start going off it. I'm like, I'm never doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we did we one time have some discussion in the car outside of my my house in Melbourne about... The secret? Anxiety. The sea, yeah, oh, the law of attraction. But then, didn't I tell you that your your anxiety was from your childhood? Like, I just remember, like, I'd met you like four times, and I was like, Naomi, <laughs> you really have to confront whatever the thing is that I think you have. And you're like, oh, I, mm. I don't have that, uh, and you probably didn't. But I oh, still, no, yeah, for sure, I got anxiety after like a really bad year in like 2013. It's definitely trauma related. Mm. Um, <laughs> right. But the drugs are great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that surprised you? about this little like because i mean you know obviously you got this i'm sure that it surprised you the netflix stuff right like in the long run yes you know like i i would just imagine for all of us it's like i can be on netflix but was there something (laughs) yeah was was there anything that surprised Mm -hmm. you in this process like about like aside from the adhd like like about yourself or about how it all worked uh i guess i mean i can tell you one thing i learned Mm -hmm. Is to just like trust other people. I think especially when you create something, you like, you have it so clear in your head what it should be. And then when it's different, you're like, ah! mm-hmm. and you try to control it and stuff. And especially because I was like acting in the show as well, that I, I was like in my head, I was super controlling and I would be very careful not to like, you know, overstep and like <laughs> be like telling the directors like, what the fuck? This is not how I imagined it. Cause mm. like 99 times out of a hundred, when people bring something else to it, they're, they're doing a better job than what you imagined in your head and just because it's different doesn't Mm. mean it's bad um and I really had to let go of that like how I pictured it in my head not being exactly what because there's so many people working on a fucking tv show there's like and they're all like experts in their one area of like set design or costume or whatever um and you're like but I wanted it like this um (laughs) and in that voice yes 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 Yes. so I think I learned a lot about collaboration (laughs) and about actually trusting people (laughs) That's pretty amazing. And I mean, and then like we talked about this briefly before. Some people have, a lot of people obviously have loved your show, but then some people have like totally attacked you, right? Yeah. Yeah. How, how's that been? Yes, queen. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fine. <laughs> it's fine. I think it depends who it is. The younger they are, the more I care about it. I think really? um, when old men don't like it, it's like, who the fuck cares? They've like, you know. But what about teenagers? Because they're so, you, you care about teenage, they're so mean, mm. they're the worst. Oh, yeah, they can be mean. But then also sometimes it's like, oh, you're so fucking stupid. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone has the ability to be stupid. And I think one of the things that we wanted to do with the show was sort of critique the idea that things are black and white. Because mm. especially when you're talking about like mm-hmm. social political issues, it's so gray and there's so much nuance. And it's been so funny to write a show that's like, hey, the world isn't so black and white. And then some of the responses have been, why isn't this black and white? (laughs) This character's stupid, but then they said something here that I agree with. And it's like, well, yeah, that's what people are like. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking idiot. So that has been the thing about like young people that I have found funny is their response. But then the old people is just like, they talked about periods and that's disgusting um and they're women speaking out loud yeah (laughs) well and also like the the few times that i've been insecure um my uh hum my writing partner Mm. 
she um she is like deliriously self confident and like you know she just believes in herself so much it's crazy oh, hater and so yeah. whenever and i talked to my yeah we should have had her on <laughs> we should have. She's, but she's like too self she's like too self happy to even go on a podcast that's what yeah, i'm talking about yeah, yeah. um wow and she uh and my therapist was like well you should just talk to hum about this stuff it sounds like she's really good for that so anytime i've been like oh this person said this about the show she's like oh they're fucking stupid wow <laughs> and it's gone to the point where now when people critique the show i could be like ha, you're so wrong <laughs> and it's <laughs> i never imagined i'd be in that kind of place i never wow. ever imagined that well i'll have to use that for some of my well, viral tiktok fame um because yeah uh, because yeah. Yeah. the other people are wrong like most of the time and i think it's easy when you see someone attacking this is one thing i do if i mean again not anymore because i've, I've self-actualized and i'm perfect now um <laughs> but like i will go to like a video of like i don't know say broad city right i really yeah. like that show and you look in the comments and, and there's people being like well this isn't funny at all <laughs> and it's very easy when you like something to be like oh they're wrong but then if it's about you it's, it's it harder hurts. to to um sort of refute it because you because t- you internalize it instead but i think my tip for people getting criticized is go and look at like your idols work and go and look at the negative comments <laughs> yeah that's such a good point i mean nobody has th- work that's unanimously praised and if they do it's probably shit you know um exactly yeah. it's like do you want to please everyone because that's how you get like basic ass shit that's on network tv because they don't want to upset anyone yeah. boring yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well this makes me feel better about my dog fucking joke bombing the last two nights so thank you okay, that sounds I, great. I do <laughs> you sound really thank brave. you it starts <laughs> it starts in my email and it you know ends with something about my jaw not clicking anymore because of meditation and there's some dog fucking in the middle <laughs> i believe in it and i'm gonna keep I believe doing in it, it. Too. I really um, do. because <laughs> of you because of you <laughs> And I mean, I, I do want to ask you, like, you know, so it sounds like you're in this really healthy place, but with that, do you, is there anything or anyone that you find yourself feeling jealous of? Oh, heaps of people all the time, I think. Well, even like un- unreasonably, you know what I mean? Like just something that sometimes what gets like, you? you know, yeah. What gets to me? I mean, it's when you have a Netflix show, anytime you're jealous of anyone for anything, you have to say, I have a Netflix show, so I need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I, I, you find yourself being jealous of, and I used to be way worse than this, and especially, I don't know, it's probably the same in America, but in Australia, Australia, like, comedians are just jealous of each other for fucking everything. And, like, mm-hmm. I don't know that people have bitched about us having a show, but I'm fucking sure they have. Actually, no, I did hear recently that someone said they heard another comedian complaining that, we got a TV show because we're hot and diverse. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Uh, and? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, work out, yeah. you know, get a black friend. Come on, like, let's Sorry, do this. Sorry, you're an ugly white man. I don't know. What do you want from me? Um, so, uh, but yeah, I, I try not, I, I so much, e- if you just force yourself to be happy for people and instead mm. of being like, why didn't I get that? Just send them a message being like, Oh my god! Congratulations! You feel so much fucking better. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're like, and, yeah. <laughs> we know. But it's no. like it's, no, really, no, it's so normal to be yeah. jealous yeah. of people, but you can't let it turn into like bitching about them yeah. because also the other mm. thing is like, especially somewhere in Australia where there's so little work, if you like support the people who have work and then it goes well, then other people will start making more stuff and giving other comedians stuff. Mm. Like I hope yeah. there's fucking ten more shows with like young comedians in Australia. I don't know how likely that is to happen because it's yeah. a shit show over here, to be honest. But <laughs> You know, this is, this is, your attitude is one that you do not hear often. No. Do you know really? what I mean? And I think if yeah. people, well, re- I have a yeah. Netflix show. And I think if, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we just all have to get there and then we can share in that. But but it's like it is one that I think, you know, I don't know, like I've sort of learned slowly, like, mm. you know, through but I what, whatever. But I mean, the point is, like, you're completely right. And it feels so much better to be alive. Yeah. Like yeah. on yeah. your day to day. 
And you know what I mean? So it's like, if not for them, do it for yourself. Mm. Like for the love of God, because it's miserable to feel hateful and envious and wanting, you know what I mean? To the yeah. point where like you can't feel good for other people, you know, or, you know, even yourself then. Yeah. So, and that's the thing that when you get stuff, those people that you were nice to will be nice back to you as well. Yeah, so they do. It's yeah. way more for yourself than for other people. It just feels good there you go. to be nice to people. Yeah. It makes you feel like a good person. <sighs> Yeah, uh, yeah. I did. I spent the afternoon being snarky to commenters on my TikTok. So I'm like, oh, I should just. I mean, you know, it just you <laughs> kind of you feel yourself getting into like a negative place, and then yeah, I'm just you're like, such oh. a bitch to responding yeah. to the person who was like, your nose is big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone told me I should have a little self respect. I was like, that for I didn't. I just laughed oh. for making a, a joke about dicks. I mean, you know, like a, or well, like yeah. foreskin. You know me. Yeah. No self respect. Mm. Love. I just love sucking those dicks on the street. Um, <laughs> there's the, there's one more thing, and we we have like two minutes. And this is Eve's favorite part, and I don't want her yes. to miss it because she is my friend. She, so this is the time where you tell us both what you're jealous of us about. Yeah. And I know we just met. <laughs> But it, 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 it can be, be my glasses because they were very fucking expensive. Yeah, I'll just give you that if you well, need one. Well, I was going to say the yeah. glasses are great. Um, Thank you. Your hair's Thank looking you. great too, and I did see your lighting oh. is. I mean, you look you look beautiful. I have to say, mm. I'll take it. Frame. I'll take it. Thank you. And oh, you're very you. funny. You know. I know that from this one conversation. I need that. Okay, I got chills <laughs> from that. So thank you. Needed that one. Thank you. Maybe yeah. I'll, 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 you know, one day I'll have a Netflix show and I'll be like, you know, who said I was funny? And it'll just be like, you know, the final credit. <laughs> your name will be there um, thank you and that you're doing stand-up i mean i i'm always admirable of that. i i quit doing stand-up because i fucking hated it so much um so still yeah. very admirable of that and <laughs> the same eve to you and the fact that you're able to move from country to country just doing whatever the fuck you want i love that um because i'm someone who stays inside the rails which has worked out well for me but <laughs> yeah i'm like look at you all oh so much yeah. potential but, you know, where's the achievement naomi yeah. maybe that grounding caused her to get a netflix show you know oh, maybe I'm, yeah, yeah that sounds actually i'm like yeah. oh, man, that's pretty reasonable the grounding and the mental health care you know <laughs> right. yeah, yeah and the free Will medication you... over here um no that's it does cost six dollars <laughs> um and also your instability to be um you all the time and you're so funny and Aww. what was the other thing i was gonna say oh you're so open-hearted and i am a, a cynic at heart <laughs> and i don't like to feel things um and i admire that Aquarius. even though i think the secret is fake um i do think you know the practice <laughs> of doing the secret is real in that it makes you a more positive and nice person she's right and you are right about that <laughs> even though it's crazy Aww. and the universe isn't listening but other people are <laughs> <laughs> I love well, that. Well, since other wait, but yeah. Naomi, but so thank you. But you're not jealous of my nose, is that no nothing? <laughs> I love you. Yeah. Well, if you've seen my boyfriend Mark, then you know I love a big nose. Oh, that's true. It's, I just my nose is not that big. No, it's not know, that. Big. I, don't, I think it's because I'm Jewish. They don't like they don't like the Jew anyway. <laughs> um, but Naomi, would you like? To, yes. I want to plug her show. I want to plug, plug everything. We want to yes. plug you. Yeah. Not not with anything physical. <laughs> right. This is not a me too moment. <laughs> just just p- to plug your stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you just look up Naomi Higgins, um, you should find me. Um, but yeah, my show Why You Like This. It's on Netflix. Watch it. Um, you know, recommend it to all your friends, please. Um, yeah, I don't know. Enjoy it. Whatever. Fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> that is the fucking best i've heard oh uh, that's my favorite Naomi, thank you so much for doing this you've been yeah, such an thank amazing you. guest thank you for having me and uh if you like the pot well obviously if you made it this far in the podcast follow us on instagram at everyone's doing better follow Catherine on instagram at ill girl you nasty follow me on instagram or tiktok by the way um oh, no. at eve <laughs> eve elbow <laughs> and um Thank you so much. Thanks thanks for being here. Like, subscribe, yes. rate, subscribe. We'll have a Patreon soon. You know where it's going to be <laughs> at. <minute>. So. <laughs> yep, any minute now. Thanks.